Hi, this is Casey Plot with Blue Marble Consulting. We simplify your IT and business with SAP S4 HANA plus our simple approach plus enablement powered by MindTickle. In a minute, I'll be demoing SAP S4 HANA Simple Finance Accounts Payable and Accounts Receivable, and then I'll briefly take you into our gamification learning tool, which is MindTickle. I'll give you a look at the learner view and the analytical administrative view. Blue Marble Consulting is a value-added reseller of SAP S4 HANA and Simple Finance, designed on the HANA platform, and that's with an SAP Fiori user experience. It delivers a more personalized, responsive, and simple experience across any device for any user. Our methodology is not that of a traditional waterfall approach. We believe in, a, in following a simple approach to a successful implementation. To summarize the key points, first, we ensure stakeholder alignment. Second, we demonstrate best practices and iteratively test scenarios with real converted data from the easiest processes to the most complex. Third, the implementation is a migration onto SAP best practices instead of an engineer to order project. Fourth, we prepare users for change with communication and preparation. We involve users early on in data cleansing and hands-on testing throughout all the processes. Fifth, we ensure a low total cost of ownership for your ERP solution. We're a no-nonsense firm that does things right the first time. We have a 100% reference rate since 2001, and that's from over 75 end customers. Sixth and lastly, we use the gamification learning platform that engages the wider using community. It's called MindTickle. It's easy to administer and allows the stakeholders to monitor the success of their team with the built-in analytics. Let's jump into our demo. What we're looking at here is the SAP S4 HANA Simple Finance Accounts Payable Demo. This is a cash discount utilization. Here it's just a way that we are going to show you the quickness and uh, ability that Fiori and S4 HANA give you to make decisions on the go. Here we're looking at a way to simulate the cash discount in the future because we need to forecast the available cash discount based on the open invoices. This allows us to make sure that we can get maximum cash discount amount in each payment. So here the AP manager would check the cash discount utilization. What we're seeing is a look into the cash discount forecast by company. And it shows us that the cash discount utilization isn't that great within a company, and that's automation -y. We'll drill down into that and look at my payment date. What we're seeing here now is even a deeper look into the customer and into their data. And we see that the amount of the cash discount expiring before the next payment date is just too high. So we'll dig into the vendor line items. This is a very in-depth look. And what we've done is drilled down into specific line items. And these ones is just a list of invoices with the status, task, status cash discount expiring before the next payment days. This gives us information that we need to make changes on the go. With this information, we can consider to offer a dynamic discount to the supplier. Suppliers generally are waiting for goods delivered or are usually benefiting more from early payment plus the discount than from full payment at the end of the contract term. So the supplier gets conveniently informed about dynamic discounts and they can determine the optimum payment along their cash demands. This keeps both parties happier. Let's jump into our next one. This is just the uh, SAP S4 Simple Finance Accounts Receivable Overdue Receivables. And what we're doing here is extending key receivable processes to the sales executives. We have close contacts to the customers. And what we're going to do is identify a need for more short-term focus on receivables and improve insight into liquidity. We're going to check an overdue receivable, go through the customer list and check an outstanding item. Then we're going to capture a quick promise to pay for an open item. So we'll go into our overdue receivables. What you're seeing here is our overdue receivables by period. We have periods one through four and we have ones that are not overdue. We also have our static information that came from our tile that's just describing our overdue receivables. We'll drill down by period into customers. What we're seeing here is our list of customers, our receivable totals that are overdue, and our open items per customer. Let's look into Born Hammer, and you can see that we can have a lot of choices here that we can go ahead and filter by. Today, we're gonna to look at process receivables. What we've got here is a great example of how Fiori brings everything into one for the user so they can see everything on one page without having to use multiple transactions. We've got all our master data for Bore and Hammer up here, and we've also got our contact history over here. Down here, we're looking at our invoices, and you'll see this promise status. We've got a broken promise here. We need to create a promise to pay, so we're going to choose that invoice. We're going to create a promise. We've got our promise by. We'll pick a date. 
we'll hit OK. And what we've done is we've created that that broken promise is now an open promise. And we've what we've essentially showed you here is that we have a more accurate real time insight into key KPIs that are pushed to you as a Fiori or S4 HANA user. Um, you can understand your trends and act on them immediately to shape your receivables portfolio. And you can focus on exceptions that solve them in a way that really wasn't possible pre SAP HANA. Continuing with our demos here, we're going to look at uh, our gamification tool, which we also leverage. It's a learning platform and it's called MindTickle. It really helps to significantly cut training costs and ensures early adoption for your organization. So if we take a look at MindTickle, this is just uh, a page of our learning content. What this allows us to do is this is our road to HANA. This is just an example of one of the themes involved. We can open up with knowledge assessments and add polls in for your users to look at. There's a tool over here for discussions and analytics for uh, users to see each other. We can upload just about any type of document onto this tool. We can embed movies or upload them directly from our local machines. We can put PDFs and documents in here, any kind of document you think of, even interactive files, SWF files. If your documents do have active uh, hyperlinks, the users can also use those if they need to uh, reach uh, information that might be outside of the system. Here's just an example of a PPT that's uploaded. It's just another type of document that we can add in there. And then you can add quizzes, quiz questions throughout the documents, throughout your learning phases. You can put them in with the documents or you can have one at the end. Here we've got true false quizzes, multiple choice quizzes. We've got guess the letter quizzes and we've got matching quizzes. There's about seven types of quizzes that users can utilize. You can see over here, we've got a Hall of Fame. This just shows the users that are involved with the system itself. And here's a history. We can also show you that you can have multiple themes. So you can have separate pages and multiple themes. What you can see here is here's a discussion question that's been brought up or discussion statement and just a regular general document that's been uploaded. One last thing that we want to show you here is you can review the courses, look into the courses, re-enter the courses. All this is controlled by the administrator. And then here's a hyperlink that you can have that would take the learner to an outside document that might not be included directly with the course. From an administrative perspective, you can look at all your analytics from performance insights per user to content insights, which would give you a better analyzation on how your content is functioning. You can look at the skipped content, percent credit correct, percent wrong, the likes and dislikes. So there is a social aspect and social media type aspect here that the users can actually engage in and learn. What we've got here is our contact page. Please contact us regarding any more information on Simple Finance, S4 HANA, or MindTickle. Sabrina Sigurney is our practice director, and she can be reached at our 800 number, 1-800-875-7030. Or you can contact us at simple at sap-bmc.com. Also, check out our YouTube channel. It's called SAP is Simple. Ask us about the low cost of ownership for your solution. Thanks.